Everybody, this is Mark Philip with Studica, and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install IBM SPSS statistics on your computer. Also note that this procedure really only applies to people who purchase the product through our company at studica.com um, because we're going to get the download from our website and how you get your license key and everything is specific to how we provide these for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to studica.com and you're going to want to come up to the top right, click login. And you're going to go ahead and log in to your account and click log in. And once you're logged in, you're going to want to go up to the top bar here and choose my downloads. And my screen says no downloads, but if you have um, purchased through us, you're going to see in here a box that shows your license code and a download link to click on. So. You're gonna to wanna to copy your license code at some point and hold on to that or just leave this page open because you'll need it for activation. You should see a download link kind of on the right side of the, the row. Um, you're gonna to wanna to click on that download link and you'll be brought to a page that looks something like this. Um, if you purchase the base or standard version of the software, you're gonna see this page exactly. If you purchase a premium version, it's gonna look similar just with some very slight differences. Regardless, you're gonna see a page like this. So what you wanna do is scroll down. These are all just step-by-step -step instructions. Um, and in here, you're gonna find your downloads. So if you're using a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to click this link here under required downloads, and it should start downloading the uh, installer. If you're using a Linux uh, machine, uh, like a Ubuntu or Red Hat or something like that, uh, you can click the required download here to download the bin file. If you're on Windows, there's two different downloads, one for 32-bit, one for 64-bit. Uh, I generally recommend just downloading 64-bit because pretty much most computers nowadays are running 64-bit Windows. If you know that you're running a 32-bit version of Windows, download the 32-bit, but otherwise you only need to download the 64-bit right here. Um, additionally, there's the SPSS Data Access Pack, which is optional, but if you want that, you can click and download that. So once the file's downloaded, I've already got mine downloaded. So once it's downloaded, you wanna to go to the download folder, find the file, and on Windows, you want to right click this file and choose run as administrator. You don't need to do this on Mac um, because if you need privileges, it will prompt you to put in your username and password. So um, on Windows though, you wanna make sure you do the right click and run as administrator because that will avoid some potential installation issues. So once you do that, it's gonna say preparing to install. And at this point, you just gotta wait for your computer to do its work. All right, so once the installer is actually loaded, this is the first screen you'll see. Um, basically just terms conditions, you can hit next. Uh, here's the end user license agreement. So if you wanna read it, feel free to read it. Once you're done, you can click I accept the terms and license agreement and click next. Uh, here you're asked if you want to install Essentials for Python. I, generally, I just tell people to leave this on, um, especially if you do use Python for any sort of analysis, you definitely want to leave this installed. So just leave it on yes, click next. Uh, here's the license agreement terms for Python, click accept, next. Uh, and then you have more license agreements and click on next, or sorry, uh, I accept and then click next. Now here you're asked for the default installation location for the software. Um, you, generally, you can leave this default. If you have multiple hard drives on your computer, you might want to install it somewhere else. Uh, in general, if you are not a very tech savvy person, I recommend just leaving it default um, because if you do have any issues, it's a lot easier to troubleshoot when the software is installed to the default folder. You can also click available space to see how much space you have on your, your hard drives. I have three hard drives, so that's why I've got all these. Um, you can click OK. I'm just going to leave it on the default here and click Next, and then click Install. And basically, the program is going to start installing. And depending on your computer's hardware, this process could take a long time. It could take a short time. Just depends on your computer. So just be patient. Wait for it to install. Okay, once the software is done installing, you should see this window and it says start SPSS statistics 26 license authorization wizard. Now you're going to want to make sure this is checked and then click finish. 
Um, if you don't see that for whatever reason, don't worry because there are uh, there's another way to uh, license the software as well. Now, upon doing that, you should be shown the licensing wizard. Uh, in here, you want to leave the top option selected and just click on next. And then you're going to be asked for your code. So that code that you had in your account on our website is the code you want. It's a 20 character long code that contains letters and numbers. So again, if I go back to my download section here on my account on our website, you should see the, the license authorization code listed in here. So you can just highlight that and copy it and then bring it into here and just right click and paste. Um, I don't have a code to use at the moment, but you, you'll end up seeing a code that's something like, you know, one, two, A, B, S, D, F, six, seven, eight, just a whole bunch of letters and numbers, but it's 20 characters long. So look for that code on your download section on our site. I believe it also gets sent to your email when you purchase through us. Um, once you have it, copy it, come in here, right click, paste in the box. And then once you do that, click next. And what should happen um, is you'll see basically the program will say it's trying to connect to the IBM server and it will tell you if it succeeds or fails. Um, if it fails for some reason, I recommend contacting our customer support on our website. Um, I believe the email is ibm-support at studica.com. Uh, email us and send along a screenshot of that error and we'll try and help you troubleshoot the problem. Sometimes there's issues with IBM's licensing codes and things like that. So if you do have an issue, contact us, let us know. But once it's activated, I'm going to cancel this to get out, but you're not going to want to click cancel. Um, when you click next on this window, it should tell you it activates and then you can click, oh, click on OK to exit the wizard. Um, but for myself, I'm going to cancel. And, and once that's done, you should be able to just open SPSS statistics. Now, one issue that I've noticed um, in the past is that the icon does not get created on your desktop. You'll notice here that I have my messy desktop and I don't have an IBM SPSS program. So a lot of people wonder, where's my program? So the best way to access it is to go to your start menu and just type in IBM SPSS statistics. And you'll see an app of the same name show up here. And if we wanted to make a shortcut for this, there's a couple ways we can do it. We can click on either pin to start, which will pin it to the start menu here, or we can do pin to taskbar, which is my preference. And you'll see the icon shows up down here on my computer now. Um, additionally, if you want to make a desktop icon, we can go back into the app. We can right click this and click on open file location. And then we can right click on this shortcut here and we can click uh, send to desktop. And now we'll have a link to IBM SPSS statistics on our desktop. So either way that you do it um, will work. I'm gonna delete that because I already have too much stuff on my desktop. But if I click the icon down here now, the program should begin to open up. And again, depending on your computer, this could take a short time or a long time. Just be patient with it. And then uh, mine's telling me that I haven't licensed because I haven't. So uh, if you see this window pop up, you're going to want to click on license product to open the wizard and go through the license process I just discussed. Um, I'm going to click close and it's going to tell me I don't have a license. So. What you'll end up seeing on yours is you're going to basically be brought to a main menu that asks you if you want to open up a data set or make a new file and things like that. So if you see something like what I'm seeing here, that means that your, your software is not licensed and you're going to have to license it following the procedure I just did in this video. So um, if you continue to, again, if you continue to have errors trying to install or license the product, you can contact us, ibm-support at studica.com and um, let us know the issue you're having. Let me uh, put that IBM dash support at studica.com. Uh, and you can contact us. And if you're getting errors, please take a screenshot and send along that screenshot with your case and let us know uh, what the problem is and we'll do our best to help you. But at this point in the video, uh, you should have everything running and you should be good to go. So. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that cleared some things up and helped you out. Have a good day.